Hello, and welcome back to Evil Land 2. Last time, we finished playing Puzzle Quest with a bunch of Vikings. And we're almost done with this place. We have two things left to do. First is to play the game of cards with Jon Snow. And then we also have to play... Uh, sorry, we have to give the book that we just got to Largo, the traveling traveler, I guess. And the third thing I guess to do here is to revisit the ice guardian or spirit or whatever that thing was once Velvet has awakened, but we can't do that until we go back to the future. So ready for a game of cards, yes. 30, okay, harder fight. Oh, that looks like a good start though. So we have to say it's a good start because it gives us a whole bunch of energy right off the bat. And a fairly strong character. Gonna have Vikings, of course. Hmm. I mean, we could just go with Cherry. I think we will. I can't shake the feeling that the card, the game of cards, has become increasingly, you know, easier and easier as I've gotten more, uh, more stuff that I can do with it. Okay, we're gonna sell the bat. I mean, I guess that's the thing to, to do here. As much as I would have liked to have played Manimal. We just need to do two damage, which we can do with these cards. Okay. Uh, I guess. Oops. Uh, no, we'll stick with even here. Oh, that was easy. Very well played. Can you teach me to play like this? There, you deserve this card. And we got Jon Snow. Alright. And even though it has never actually done anything, I just want to double check that there's no card available. Uh, Jon Snow. 4-5 ranged, 5-2 energy. Not bad. Anyway, the more expensive cards are just better because they give you more energy. All right, we've already challenged and beaten you. Solid snail! Here? What a small world! After your spectacular escape from the Coliseum, I was fired! I must admit I suffered a brief bout of depression. But I must also thank you! Because of you, I finally found my way in life! I decided to explore the world and bring back the tale of my travels to the Imperial Library. It will be my life's work, Largo Legrand's Travels! Here, we wanted to entrust this book to you. It's a very valuable tome from the ancient Magi civilization. You absolutely must bring it to the Imperial Library in one piece. A book from the Magi era? What an extraordinarily rare find! I don't know how to thank you. Oh wait, here's something. I came across this odd stone in the frozen cavern. It certainly doesn't equal your book, but it's all I have to give in return. Magi fragment, of course. Not the fragment of ice. Sorry again that I have nothing better to trade for this book. I... I believe this will be more than enough. Well, I'm off to trot the globe again. Best of luck to you all. Right, and as I said, I think that's it for this place. I wonder if we could ever do anything with this. I don't know why I wonder that. Oh yeah, as far as all the different genres go, I guess we haven't played... Oh wait, we should be able to do the shop now because we're Viking warriors, right? Looking to slice and dice your enemies? We got what you need. Oh, we can, okay. Viking sword, Viking armor, Viking boots. 
Well, one of these is an upgrade, so let's take it. By Viking Armor? Yes. Made for those long winter nights. Less ideal for scoring a date on the beach. Yeah, you'd just be hot and sweaty in that. I'm sure. Our mismatched gear. Alright, that's the only thing we don't have the Oricon for. Alright, got the second fragment of the key there. Alright, uh, as I was saying, given all of the different uh, genres that have been sort of mashed up together here, I'm kind of surprised we haven't run across a fishing minigame yet. We had that one puzzle at the very beginning, but... It's hardly a minigame. Alright, so we are... we're done with this place. Well done! You have the Fragment of Ice! In the future, the frozen continent has almost disappeared. I hope the Vikings will learn how to swim. I wouldn't like to feel responsible for their desperation. Would you, Kuro? Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the Magi Key. Well, I mean, we'll just kind of do as we have been. Keep exploring the world, doing side quests, and eventually stumble across the... the fragments that we're looking for. Alright. Where were we? Well... Where we were doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, can we... Really? We can't cut up this way? The game's gonna make us go all the way around. Okay. That's just a lot of annoying backtracking. I was just gonna grab the... I was gonna awaken Velvet and then run back there right away. But maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll wait until we have a flying machine, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a flying machine at some point. All right, we're done with that. So I think we're actually done with this portion of the future era. Uh, oh wait, we have to go around that way. All right, we'll go around this way again. But, yeah, for this era, and there's nowhere else we can go uh, with the time walking, or with that, that time monolith, at least not with our current gear. So I think we're actually pretty close to done with this era. Hmm. In fact, we can't even get back to the continent in our boat in this, um, this era. The main continent. We have to come from a different place. Slightly inconvenient. So which time period are we going to get to? The far past. I want to confirm something. I'll... Okay, I can access the menu during this transition, but I can't skip the transition. Yeah, okay, so we do, we do cycle through all the eras. So which era do I want to be in? So we were in this era. We did some stuff. Then we got to the future, so we'll actually go with the past and visit the demons from before, before everything was taken out. In fact, I don't think I've ever explored this uh, any of this area in this time period, this continent. So we'll explore the demon kingdom. Uh, we're this is right at the in the middle of the war, right? Yeah, okay, so what is this? Disembarking. 
What is the meaning of this? Oh, Dalkin, you sound surprised, Colonel. Surprised? Coming from you, Magus, it's no surprise. Oh, that guy's big. But you? How could you? Honestly, Colonel. Come now. Try not to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants? They belong to the Empire. Times change, Colonel. You see, I long served your great Emperor. But no more. Now I shall have my turn on the throne. I've decided to establish my own empire right here. You're a madman. All you have are a few dozen soldiers. In just a few months, the real emperor will be here with his army. You won't stand a chance against him. Do not worry too much for my sake, Colonel. In that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons, and my army will rival that of the emperor. But how? I shan't reveal all of my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor! Conveniently, they have uh, appropriately color-coded themselves. I have to stop them. Solid Snail, we must act quickly. Demonia has yet to fall, and I can still aid my people. Oh, well, that'll change history. That was one of the changes that we wanted to make, though. Hello, Dalkin. I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? Oh, right. Solid Snail, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Ah, I see. Naturally. If you're with a uh, Demonian Prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no fighting them. There's no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach Demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Never! Make a pact with Demonia? That's ludicrous! But there's no other way. If we don't stop Magus, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die. That's what I learned in school, anyway. We have to stop Magus before he makes it to Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. I mean, we do want to have peace between the human and demon kingdoms, right? This would be a good start, I suppose. It is imperative we reach Demonia before time runs out. And if, to that end, I must ally with the Empire. For a short while, at least. So be it. Falcon? It's not possible. I can't. My orders. We were at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's Magus who started this war, hoping to seize Demonia and keep it for himself. And knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought to know to bend the rules when it's for the good of the Empire. I... I can't. Can't go against orders. Well, Kuro, it seems it won't be easy to persuade Dalkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought Magus. The battle turned into a real bloodbath, and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dulcan the Red. After his victory, if you can call it that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. It makes me wonder where he would be now. We must convince him to allow us passage. I must come to my people's aid. Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option there is. I cannot become your ally. I have my orders. Kuro, it won't be an easy task to persuade Dalkin, but we simply cannot give up. I do wonder what became of him in my era. Okay. So that's all we can do here. So then we have to go... Go to the modern era, I guess, to deal with that. I'm just trying to think of what else we have to do. I'm kind of disoriented at the moment. I have a smithy, yeah, nothing to do there.
Wingy Valley. There's nothing to do here, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we could go to the modern era and try... ...dealing with... ...Dalkin. Can we access the laboratory in this time? Now that we've gone through it in the modern era, can we go back to the past and open it again? Does not appear so. We cannot interact with that door anyway. Okay, there's the Viking Tunnel, so we've been there now. Alright, so this is nothing we can do in that area, though. Okay, well... The other question, I guess, is where can we actually change our time periods? There are a few places. We can go up here for one. Can't. This one's broken. Right. I guess that leaves the Cursed Isle. We have some unfinished business with the pirates anyway. Oh, well, they won't fight me unless I'm a pirate myself. Wait. Okay, that just triggered a lot earlier. This won't change my time period, because it saves it. We could have just walked off the edge there, couldn't we? Nope. Right, no, no place to land there. All right, time to. Oh, hello, pirates. Yeah, woo! It's so freaking cool being a pirate! Every day I thank the seas I followed Mr. Roberts. Lately he's had a worried vibe about him. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to hunt down... So, if you've not delivered my letter yet, it's quite simple. Just hand it to the most remarkable woman on the entire continent. You know what? Let's actually try to do this first. So... I forgot that that was in this time period that I'm supposed to do that. Is it you? I dream that one day my Prince Charming will take me away on a beautiful white steed. Uh, could you be him? I look on her face, I don't think Kuro is the one. Could it be that... Oh! You have a letter for me? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet! Let me read it! Okay, well that was relatively easy. The answer is yes! I've always admired you so, my lovely pirate Roberts. And yet, I didn't think you would be so young. 
with your vibrant hair and glasses on your forehead. You're exactly my type. Sad face. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Here, Mr. Roberts, this will prove my love for you. You got a Tinder profile. Find your one true love. How romantic. I suppose that'll do the trick. Let's go back and see the old pirate. I'm gonna tell all my girlfriends that the pirate Roberts is a handsome young man with a dazzling head of hair. Oh dear. What have we just started? And that is why in the future they mistake us for Pirate Roberts, because that one person starts the rumors that we look like this instead of like what the actual Pirate Roberts looks like. Oh, you managed to find her Tinder profile? That's fantastic! I am totally gonna right swipe her. There was mention of a reward. Yes, absolutely. My greatest treasures. Now that I'll be retiring with my beloved, I won't need them. Shouldn't be any trouble, really. I buried the stuff in a secure location. It's, uh... I forgot. Yeah, I can't remember. Are you joking? No, I'm not. I seriously can't remember where I buried my treasure. For months, I've thought of nothing else but my love. And I plumb forgot. But it matters not. I promised you a reward, so I'll grant you what's left of my most prized possessions. Well, at least we didn't do all this for nothing. You got a pirate flag. A genuine Pirate Roberts pirate flag. Woven with actual beard hair. Take care of it. Make sure the name of Pirate Roberts is still feared in a hundred years. Think this will come in handy, Kuro? Yes, I do. I sure hope so, too. If nothing else, we helped bring two lovebirds together. As for my treasure, I'll be informing the other pirates that whoever finds it is to become the new Pirate King. That should certainly generate interest in the field. Okay, well, we got a pirate flag. So there was that pirate ship that said they would only ch accept challenges from other pirates. So I guess that's something else we can do now too. Okay, we're in the modern era. Hello, random guard. How did you get here? You're not pirates, I hope. They occupied this island until recently, but they were run out of something. Someone. By something or someone. They went to hide out in their lair to the east. Alright, well, always time for another game of cards. Hmm, that's not a great start. I guess... Do, do we really play the bat? Sure. Oh. Those were some big numbers. Well, I'm not going to be able to afford... Bro, so I'll just do that. And I guess I'll put you here. Yeah, another pirate will take us out, but... Oh, they're not going to play another pirate there. Two. Hmm. I could get seven points. Okay, we are going to just do this. Huh. That's what Fina looks like. I believe this is the first time we've seen her card. And she has that rare heal ability, I guess. If we do that... Mm. 
might as well play Nali to get the extra energy, because now he has zero attacks, so now he won't actually trigger combat there. Block a hit for us as well. Hmm. Not really anything that's worth playing in that row, honestly. Uh, I guess if I played a Ghost and Manimal, I would get... Let's see, I'd get one energy back. Uh, I, would get, I would get one turn of Manimal. No, I think it's better just to, just to sell everything. Wait till we draw something good. We are winning the health race, so... Do you have all of us in that in your deck? I wonder. Alright, well, I guess we'll finally play... Menos, and we'll put the... I think it's the first time we've ever afforded him. We'll put the blacksmith behind him, just for extra energy. Not that it matters, because we're over. No, there, you deserve this card. Oh, Velvet! Oh, I was not expecting to get her here. Okay, well, we have... this one mystery solved, I guess. We're getting a lot of the characters. Just four for three, eight. Not that good, I have to say. But... It's a card. Helps the collection. Pirates have been less active of late. It's the only bit of good news since the Great Disaster. Haha, <laughs> you gotta be pretty brave to assault our lair. But I'm afraid we only accept challenges from other pirates. Oh? You've got a pirate flag? It can't be! That's the flag of the legendary pirate Roberts! So you've come to challenge us, is that it? Yes. In that case, you'll have to beat every single one of us in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Best of luck to you. Um... Okay. So we can get in. Yeah, nothing up there, so I don't have to worry about that ship blocking. Oh no, do I have to do more of the fighting game? The one where I just button mash and eventually I get lucky and win? Ah, uh, that's, that's a perspective. Okay. Interesting. This looks really out of place with this, um... That's a hint as to what's going to happen as soon as I go off the screen, isn't it? Graphic being on more of an isometric... Uh, view. This place doesn't sit right with me. I'll stay here and provide cover, Kuro. Hang in there, Kuro. I know you got- I know you got it. Salt Snail, if I am chosen to fight, far too many pirates would meet an untimely end. Nevertheless, I shall come. I will show you some of my- of the special moves taught to me by my father. Okay, we get two of them. You dare challenge us? The pirates of the bay won't be defeated so easily. Oh, it's you guys. You got beat em up mode. One versus one hundred? No sweat. Okay. If you jump, you'll perform a flying kick whilst attacking. Okay, thanks, Minos. Well done. Wait. Oh, this is a... this is a game. Oh, I see. That's how that works. Okay, I get it now. Oh wait, I'm, I'm over here, okay.
After a jump, jump again to perform an uppercut. Um. Oh, I see. I have to move a bit. Okay, excellent. Okay, it's a little bit... The controls aren't the best, I have to say. Touching that's going to heal me. Okay, the bandana guys seem to be a little bit tougher than the bald guys. At the top of your jump, jump once more to execute a spin attack. Congratulations. I've taught you everything I know. One last thing. If you really need help, you can call me by focusing. But, don't talk to anyone about it. Really? Can I not break that box? I guess not. Tougher. Well, this was definitely not what I was expecting, but I guess it is another genre of game. Oh, you're using weapons now. Well, I'm kind of just spamming attacks again, because... Yeah, if I just, if I just spam the jump button and don't even attack, it seems to be slightly more effective. Okay, there were a hundred of them, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, that didn't go very well. You know, I'd appreciate some help, actually. And as soon as I said that, I was like, wait a minute, there are boxes here. Less helpful than I had hoped. Help, I'm stuck here. I'm all out of paper. Okay. No. Can't jump that. Okay.
feel like I should use Minos. Just to see what it's like. But he said not to tell anybody. I feel like I shouldn't use him unless I really need the help. Nope, nothing over there. I wonder how much longer this is gonna go. Okay, that was silly. So this gives us a throwing a throwing boulder, effectively. have to be getting close to the end, right? Looks like it. Behold what we came here to find. The Fragment of Fire. Who dares oppose us? We are the fearless pirates of the bay. Claims to ownership crumble at our feet. What's yours is ours. Anybody know where Kenny is? He had an accident. Again? Okay, Wedge, you finish it off. And all that jazz. The ghost of Pirate Roberts. He came to get his treasure back. You fool. That's not Pirate Roberts' treasure. It's just a Magi what's it the boss said we couldn't mess with. I think Biggs is right. If that was Roberts' famed uh, treasure hoard, the boss would be the Pirate King. I bet it's just a pirate dressed up like Roberts. That's what I said, but nobody ever listens to me. So what's the plan, Biggs? The boss is still in the bathroom and he hates being bothered while in there. And yet I warned him that fish and yet I warned him that fish looked fishy. But the boss doesn't listen to me either. Motion to hold a meeting on the topic of our next move. Motion accepted. Ah, boss fight, okay. Captain Ababa, what's going on here? What a, prodigi what a prodigious mustache. You've come to challenge me, haven't you? I feel like I've got a few debuffs stacked on me. I There's no way I'm letting you take that magi, what's it? Old Snail, that foe seems to be mightier than the others. Be on your guard. Yeah, we, uh, 
Oh. Okay, he can do that. Sp spam harder! Ah, what do I do about that? I am not gonna win this. Yep, there we go. Well, I learned not to stay in the same row as him. What did I learn? Nothing, apparently. Okay, he telegraphs that a little bit. Um... Controls are I feel like I don't have I, I know it's just that I'm bad at this, but I feel like I don't have a lot of control over this. Because sometimes I do the attacks and sometimes I don't when I'm pushing the buttons. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a, a timing thing, but oh, what what just happened? Uh oh I know what just happened, okay. I just hit the uh, the hotkey for full screen. Ah, see. Also, it seems to be fairly precise being in the same row. Okay, let's move. Ah. again. Oh, you're, you're not gonna go? Ah! No, that's, that's not the kind of jump I wanted to do. Man, I'm hitting... Why am I hitting Control F quite a bit here? I mean, F is the attack button. Control is controls in the corner. It's quite distracting when that happens. Good start. And of course, we miss. We miss with everything. Okay.
couldn't dodge that one. Come on. Ah, no. Attack. Ah. I really... I'm really not enjoying the controls on this. Just... I thought I was going to get that one, and then it just kind of fell apart at the end. Man, his, his hitbox is pretty small, too, which is part of the problem. I mean, I guess mine is too, but... Oh, I can't go up there, okay. We're just doing this over and over again, I guess. Spin kick seems to be really bad because it leaves me. Ah, no, I couldn't couldn't dodge that. I was. Yeah, when he when he corners me, that I just don't have a dodge for his big big attack like that. And now I'm taking a bunch of damage. And you can just do that without telegraphing it sometimes. Like, there's so much I don't enjoy about this fight. Yep, there was, I was cornered again. Maybe if I was at the very bottom of the screen that wouldn't have hit me. But... It's like, the reason I don't enjoy this is because it feels like chance to me. I'm not... Maybe I just don't have the skill for this kind of kind of thing, but this game feels like chance. Because stuff happens. Like, there, there are things I can do to increase my odds, but there are things that he does that I just can't do, do anything about. Up on that rock, okay. But like when we're when we're both attacking, how does it decide which of us wins? Timing, I guess. We got it. Well, hopefully that's the end of that.
We got the Fragment of Fire, one of the five pieces of the Magi Key. The volcano is beginning to erupt. Quickly, Solid Snail. We must flee now. Oh. Okay, well, an escape sequence, I guess that's fine. Although now I'm gonna wonder, since the box has respawned, although I think the box has respawned because I died, but would they hide a star in one of these? Do I have to defeat you to continue? Or can I just go? Uh, I guess I have to defeat them. Well, that's kind of annoying. Especially since- ah! Since there's this time limit. No more save points. I wonder if this door does anything now. Well, not right now. Help, I'm stuck here. I'm all out of paper. Oh, I see. He's in the toilet, so he needs paper. I got it. I wasn't sure what was going on there the first time. Well, this seems to be a lot of time. That's the box I can't hit for some reason. Again, all my attacks are just missing. Come on. Spam harder. What? There we go. We made it. Quickly, Kuro! What happened? We have to reach the sea. The volcano could destroy everything. See what happens when you leave men in charge? A hero is expecting heaps of praise for his successful combat. See, Velvet, just use your ice magic and stop the volcano. That, that, that works, right? The island's been completely destroyed. I almost feel sorry for those poor pirates. We're lucky we got the magi key fragment in time. 
Achievement unlocked, Triple Dragon. Okay, well... Hopefully that's the end of that. I mean, it is the end of that, but hopefully that's the end of that, that game mode. A lot of these only seem to show up once, so... Oh, I have to actually go through Sierra Harbor? Got a card. Have I not been here in this time period? Well, we just hit an autosave, so I guess we'll go back into Sierra Harbor and challenge that guy to the game of cards at the start of the next part. I will see you then.